Hey Canucks fans, let's talk about how a huge bounce back season for Brock Besser will have a massive impact on the Vancouver Canucks. I'm Canuck Clay, and this is my Canucks take on one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary for Monday, August the 15th. If you're new, here's what you should do. Hit the subscribe button now for daily Canucks insight that's positive, timely, and trustworthy. Thanks to everyone who joined me for my live stream last night. It was my first one in two weeks. It was fun, it was great, I felt fresh, I looked fresh. Great donations, great comments, new memberships, people getting gifted memberships, new subscribers. Overall, it was a lot of fun. Hoping to continue that fun tonight. Me and Parker, Canucks After Dark, back after a one-week hiatus. So make sure you join us at 10 p.m. tonight on the Canucks After Dark YouTube channel. Today, I want to talk about Brock Besser. And maybe it's because I've been seeing highlights or pictures of him from the beauty league yes it's not the beauty league it's the beauty league uh, a lot of minnesota based players and their friends play in that annual summer tournament and i'm looking at these pictures i'm looking at these videos you guys of brock besser and it kind of reminded me he's a really good player and i think sometimes we take brock besser for granted or we forget just how good he is and it might be because he's a little bit injury prone He's not the most consistent player. And we know that last year he had a really tough year as he was battling uh, all year. He was battling the emotions that came with his ailing father, Duke, who ended up passing away um, at the start of this summer. So we know how much of an impact that had on his play. We saw how sad he was during the year-end press conference, all those things. And I, it's the wrong terminology to say we give him a pass for that, but we understand why maybe he didn't have the season that he wanted to. And the season wasn't bad. It wasn't great by Brock Besser Sanders. 46 points in 71 games, 23 goals, 23 assists. So 46 points in 71 games, about a 0. 0.6 points per game, which is okay. It's not bad, but it's, it's not great. But when you look at his career overall, Brock Besser, he has 256 points in 324 games. That's 0. 0.79 points per game, basically 0. 0.8 points per game that's a really really good scoring level and we remember that Brock Besser was drafted in the first round 23rd overall way back in 2015 yes the Canucks drafted Horvat in 2013 they drafted Vertanen in 2014 then there was Besser in 2015 Ulevi in 2016 Pedersen 17 he was 18 Puckles in 19 and so on and so forth but he was a late first round draft pick in 2015 then he only plays nine games at the end of the next year, the 26-17 year, actually two, year, yeah, two years later, he comes into the league, plays his nine games, scores four goals in those nine games. We get all excited. And then he has a really good rookie season in 2017-18, 55 points in 62 games, basically 0.8 points per game, um, actually over that, in fact. And he's looking good. He's a runner-up in the Calder Trophy, um, you know, sweepstakes. But overall, a really, really good rookie season. So 55 and 62. Follows it up with 56 and 69, another good season. Then uh, injury pro third season, he had 45 points in 57 games. That's not bad, you know, in the points per game standpoint, even though they played 69 games and he only played 57 of them. So he did end up missing 12 of those. So 62 games, 69 games, 57 games. And then actually, to his credit, he played in the full bubble season the not the bubble season but rather the uh, the canadian division season he played all 56 games he had 49 points in those 56 games another great average and then he dropped off a little bit last year 46 points in 71 games when you look at his point totals from year to year it's very consistent 55 56 45 49 46 so everything within 11 points of each other but then you look at the games played and you say okay maybe that's not the most consistent because the games played don't necessarily match up with the number of points he gets. So one concern about Brock is that may he may be injury prone. Again, he's only he played all the the games in the Canadian division season, but aside from that, he's missed. You know, uh, he would miss multiple games due to injuries. I I wouldn't say that he's uh, you know that he's brittle or anything like that. I just think he's been unlucky a little bit. Some foot injuries, a back injury. Then, of course, he had COVID. And then he had that arm injury that he suffered when him and Elias Pettersson, his teammate, kind of uh, collided last year. But when you look at his numbers overall, 0 0.8, 0 0.79 points per game over his five-year career, that is outstanding. Now, what can we expect from Brock 
this season. Well, he signed a three-year, $20 million contract, just a shade under $20 million, $6.65 million a season, so $19.95 million. So he's not getting paid, say, PD money or what's going to be J, uh, JT Miller money, but it's a, it's a fair chunk of change. Some, uh, you know, I think a lot of people were worried that the Canucks and Brock Besser wouldn't be able to come to terms, but I think this is a player that really wants to be here. This is a player that wants to make a difference for the Vancouver Canucks. He is a difference maker in the community. He's one of the most popular players on the team. And somebody on one of my recent actually videos even asked me if Brock Besser is captain material. I'd say, yeah, but I think as long as Bo, Hor Bo Horvat's here, that uh, Besser won't be the captain. I could see him getting an A down the road. But let's, you know, let's talk more about his right now. Let's focus on, on the ice. We know he's got a, a great shot. He's got a great wrist shot when he gets it off. Got a decent snap shot. A slapper, maybe uh, not as effective, say, as Petey's is, but definitely a great wrist shot. He's um, a br pretty good skater. He's strong on his skates for sure. And he's got a very, very good hockey IQ. Uh, defensively, I think he's underrated. He wins boards battle, board battles, boards battles. He wins board battles and he never gives up on the play. And I think some of his underlying numbers are really good. I kind of joke around. So he's not the fastest skater, that's for sure. And I kind of joke around that I think the weakest part of the game is his passing, actually. I've seen many times where he basically passed the puck as hard as he shoots it. So it makes it very hard for uh, a teammate to receive his passes. But overall, I think he's a really, really good player. And I think he's going to bounce back from last season. Imagine playing a whole season, the weight on his shoulders of his ailing father. And I think with the, that burden being released, yes, Duke um, passed away, which is obviously very sad. But at least now Brock is lifted from that burden. And he can focus really on hockey, focus solely on hockey. I also think the quality of his teammates the quality of the forwards increasing is going to make him better. I'm not worried that he's going to get less ice time. No, he's always going to be a top six player. But I think he's, there's just going to be more talented people around him. And that's with the additions of Kuzmenko, Mikheyev, of course. Um, and then you already have guys like JT Miller, Elias Pettersson, Connor Garland, Vasily Podkolzin on that team. Now, the one thing I guess that could be challenging is he may get bumped off the first power play unit if they put someone like Kuzmenko on there. You could see Besser playing the left side, i.e. his one-timer side, on the second unit, although Connor Garland plays that position as well. You could put Garland in the bumper. You could put Besser in the bumper, although they're right-handers. But uh, you could see him maybe getting taken off that first unit, especially if JT Miller stays on that left side that he likes to play on. So that might cut into his point total a little bit. But I think overall, I just think a more focused, a healthy, and a, a very, uh, a guy playing with even more talented teammates. I see Besser in, in, you know, obviously improving on that 46 point mark. And if he can be uh, a 60 point player for the first time in his career, his career high is 56. But if he plays a full 82 games or even 75 to 82 games, which he hasn't done yet, then I could see him realistically being a 60-point player. And that would be a wonderful, wonderful um, advantage for the Vancouver Canucks. I think you could, uh, if you have him as your third highest leading scorer behind JT Miller and Elias Pettersson, whatever order you want to put those guys in, that would be really, really good. And he would kind of almost reach the, the heights or start to fulfill the potential that we saw when he broke into the league five years ago. So all to say, I like Brock Besser. I like his character. I like his play. And I'm really, really hopeful for him because he deserves it. He's such a good guy. I'm really hopeful that he has a really, really strong season on the ice and becomes a really big difference maker for the Vancouver Canucks. But I would love to know, Canucks fans, what you think. Do you think Brock has it in him to be that difference maker? Can he earn every penny of that $6.65 million contract for the next three years? Or are we going to be having a conversation at the end of this season saying that we wish he could have been more of a difference maker. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think of Brock and let me know if he's poised for a big season this year. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know uh, how you guys are thinking, what you guys are thinking about Brock Besser. Got to shout out to my sponsors, Perform and Transform and to Van City Experts Real Estate Group. Thank you to legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Justin Credible, legendary Andrew Chang, and all the Hall of Fame and franchise members 
new and old thank you and thanks to all of you for watching this video as always subscribe if you like to like this video if you like to leave a tip a super thanks if you'd like to leave a comment down below if you'd like to let me know what you think how you think brock bester is going to play this upcoming season and if you made it this far into the video 10 minutes in simply type in the word beauty b-e-a-u-t-y you could be referring to the beauty league that he's playing in or how i'm looking right now but regardless type in the word beauty and i know that you made it to the end of this video don't forget canucks after dark tonight at 10 p.m hope to I hope to see you as you join parker and me for our weekly canucks show okay friends stay safe stay healthy take care of yourselves and take care of each other have a great rest of the day god bless and go canucks go